So just to give you a bit of background on this aerator, we have been looking into options for solid tine aeration for the summer season of weddings because this lawn gets a lot of footfall and in these dry summers we've been having where it's been getting stressed we've been looking at options for um, solid tine aeration um, purely because of low impact and when I say about low impact just look at this you would not think that this has just been aerated by that beast over there but it has and it is unbelievable you would hardly know you would hardly know it's been there. Can you see the holes? Can you see the holes? No, but I promise you, on there, on there. And I was going really slow with this machine. I turned this lawn into Swiss cheese. This thing has got so many holes in it. And the beauty of this, um, this machine, because it's hydrostatic, with what they call variable aeration density, it really does bring out the American accent, doesn't it? Variable aeration density. You don't need to make like a, a pass that way and a pass that way, how you might do sometimes just to double up on your holes, because this thing makes all the holes. Um, I didn't cut the grass before I did this because I wanted to see if the machine would tear and longer grass would show that more. And again, I don't know if I'm doing a very good job of showing this, but this thing is just, I'm gonna skim over it with the mower in a minute and you will, you won't even know we've been here, which is a good thing because I've got Alec coming to um, photograph this for my prize winning lawn. But I have been seriously impressed with it. With it being hydrostatic, the control that you have turning at the headlands, um, I did make one little schoolboy error here where I turned a little bit too sharply, but you basically just treat it like you're turning a zero turn mower. So within a couple of minutes, you, you get the hang of it. And this is literally the first time I've properly used this. So as an option for us, um, depending on cost, obviously, it could be a viable one. I do have a rougher lawn that I can show it working on, but hopefully what I've done in this video as well is shown this flex te te technology, if I can get my words out, because this only has the pencil tines on and you can see the shape of the the tine is designed to work in tandem with this mechanism to to pull the tine out without making a mess and again just to try and bore you with some holes holy 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 you know i've basically gone that slow i've created two trenches there Awesome bit of kit. The only thing that has driven me nuts, whoever put the switch on put it on the wrong way around. But basic operation controls, and that's an important there, one there, because if you try to go aerating into rock solid ground, you're in for a ride. Basic. And I have shown this in the video, basic dead man control, press that down, that activates your hydraulic pump down there, and then you've got forward and reverse. There's your reverse there, nice steady heat handles, really smooth operation. And then the idea being that it's technically infinitely variable. The from what I read up briefly, because I did read the manual, believe it or not, they recommend that you run it on pretty much full throttle. I suppose that just makes sure that the mechanism's getting full power, but that sort of sets your rotation speed of all your cam system in here. And then you adjust your aeration density by the speed of the machine. Really smart piece of kit. There we go. Variable aeration density from Billy Gold. I would also just like to do a shout out to the guys at Henton and Chattel for sorting me out this demo unit. Really, really impressed. 